Now, dilution problems involving differential equations are common sa board exam. And so, meron tayong Caltech for these types of problems. So, uh, for dilution problems, we actually have a model equation. We have x equals v sub b, uh, v times b minus v times b minus x sub o multiplied by e to the power of negative a divided by v multiplied by t. Now sir, what uh, what are these variables? v, b, x sub o, e, and a. What are those variables? Now v is the initial volume. Now this is for the solution. So here we have brine containing 100 gallons. Now sir, what is B? B is the concentration. The concentration of what you considered as the volume. So brine must be multiplied by the concentration of brine. So we have concentration corresponding to this. And then sir, what is X sub O? X sub O is the initial dissolved component. So we have 5 pounds of dissolved salt. That's what we're gonna treat as X sub O. And then E is just Euler's constant. And then sir, what is A? A corresponds to the rate. The rate at which brine enters the tank. So this is usually volume per minute. This is volume per minute. This is in gallons or any unit of volume. And then the concentration is pounds per gallon. And then this is in pounds only. And then T is the time. And so in this problem, we actually have our model equation. We can actually substitute the model equation. Now x will define the final amount of salt because this was x sub o and so this will define the final value. So here we have x equals, what is v? That's the initial volume so we have 100 gallons. So 100 gallons multiplied by b which is the concentration. So we have 2 pounds per gallon. And then minus, let's just copy this one because this is still v times b. v times b and then minus x sub o. x sub o is 5 pounds. So 5 pounds and then e to the power of negative. The rate is 3 gallons per minute. So we have 3 gallons per minute and then divided by t, I mean v, which is 100 gallons. This is gonna cancel, also this one, and then this will cancel. All of these will cancel. And then this is to be multiplied by the time, so minutes here will also cancel. So we uh, so our resulting unit will be pounds because that's what's left, so times t. So we have for x, this is now 100 times 2 gives us 200, so 200 minus, this expression is 100 times 2 is 200, so 200 minus 5, we get 195. So 195e to the power of minus 3 over 100 multiplied by t. Now, we can rearrange this one. We have to isolate this value. Now, we can only apply the calculator technique if we will isolate this part of the equation. And so we have moving this to the left and then moving this to the right. Then we have 195e to the minus 3 over 100 multiplied by t, or this is 0 0.5. 0, 3. This is equal to 200 and then we're gonna move this to the right so minus x. So we are trying to solve for x in letter A because we are interested in the amount of salt after 7 minutes. And so we have here mode and then go to stat and then press 5. So press 5 and then we're gonna input the x values and the y values. Now disregard frequency. And so your first input value will be at time equals 0. At time equals 0 what is the value of 200 minus x? Now, when x is 0, what are we going to input for y? For y, you only have to input this expression. So we have here, at time equals 0, y is 195. And then, when time is equal to, let's say, 1, then we have here, let's input this expression, and let's substitute 1. So we have 195 multiplied by e to the minus 0 0.03 multiplied by t. So we have t equals 1. So we have 189.23. Now by the way, for this one, we are uh, we just set t to 0. And then setting t to 0 will make this e to the 0, which is essentially 1. And then 195 times 1 is just 195. And so I hope that's clear. So press AC. Now again, we have x and y. This was 0, 1, and then 195. And then here we have 195e to the minus 0 0.03 multiplied by 1. So essentially, we are modeling this equation 200 minus x.
And then again, x is the independent variable, which is time. Now, the first question is, what is the amount of salt in the tank after 7 minutes? Now, we are given a value for x or a value of time. So 7 minutes, and then we are missing the y value. Now, if you are missing the y value, then you need to use y hat. And then you're going to pair that with your known value. So you, uh, so we have press 7, and then shift stat, go to regression, press 5, and then press 5 again. This is y hat, this is x hat. You're going to use y hat if you're missing y, and then you're going to use x hat if you're missing x. So press 5, we have 7 y hat, press equals, this gives us 158.064. So 158.064. We're going to equate this to 200 minus x. 200 minus x. And then solving x, we have 200 minus 7 y hat. This is 41.936. So 41.936 pounds. Yeah. And then what if the question is, when will there be 70 pounds of salt in the tank? Now, 70 pounds of salt is essentially x. Now, this is the tricky part because you're not going to input 70 x hat. That's going to give you the wrong answer because we are essentially modeling this equation. And so we have 200 minus 70 pounds of salt, so minus 70. So this is going to give us 130. So 130 is what we're going to use to solve the time. So we have 130, we have a value of y, and then we need x or the time. So we're going to pair this with x hat. So shift stat and then regression, press 4, and then we have 130 x hat. So press equals, you're going to get 13.516. So this means that the time is 13.516 minutes. And so this is your approach. Now we have another problem. A 400 gallon tank initially contains 100 gallons of brine containing 50 pounds of salt. Brine containing 1 pound of salt per gallon enters the tank at the rate of 5 gallons per second. Determine the amount of salt inside the tank after 30 seconds if the solution flows out at the same rate. So we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna model an equation for x. So we have x equals, what is the initial volume? We have 100 gallons of brine. Disregard this given, it's gonna be useless. This has no consequence to the solution, only this one. So we have 100 gallons of brine multiplied by B, which is the concentration. We have one pound of salt per gallon, so one pound per gallon, and then minus V, which is 100 gallons, times again 1, 1 pound per gallon minus x sub o which is 50 pounds of salt. So minus 50 multiplied by e to the power of minus a. Again a is the rate so 5 gallons per second divided by v which is the volume so 100 multiplied by t. So this is gonna be 100 minus 100 times 1 is 100, so 100 minus 50, this gives us 50. And then we have e to the power of negative 5 over 100 gives us minus 0 0.05 multiplied by t. Now, we're gonna rearrange this a bit. So we have moving this to the left and moving this to the right, we have 50e to the negative 0 0.05t equals 100 minus x. So our input values will be at x equals 0, how how much is y? When x is 0, then you're gonna substitute 0. So this is gonna be 50. Again, uh, 50 times e to the 0, this will just be 1. So 50 times 1, we have 50. And then at x equals 1, we have 50 e to the minus 0 0.05 multiplied by 1. And so let's input this mode stat and then press 5. We have 0 and then 1, and for y we have 50, and then 50e to the minus 0 0.05 multiplied by 1. Again, this is uh, this corresponds to the time, and this corresponds to 100 minus x. So press AC, and then the question here is, determine the amount of salt inside the tank after 30 seconds. So we are given the time at t equals 30 seconds. So we have the time, and we need the amount of salt which is defined by y. So we're gonna use y hat. So 30 y hat gives us the value of 100 minus x. 
So here, 30, and then shift, stat, regression, press y hat. We have 30 y hat. This gives us 11.157. But then, this is just this value. So 100 minus x, 100 minus this value, solving x, we have 88.843. And then this is in pounds. <laughs> Thank you.